What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. If you're new here, please make sure you do subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. On today's episode, we're not doing the usual vlog. We are doing a QA. I thought it'd be a great time to do a QA. We've got a buy this week, and I really appreciate all of your support here on YouTube. Whenever I see you guys at a game, you always say that you love watching the channel, and I really do appreciate your support. So let's get into a QA. I really appreciate everyone who sent in a question this week. First question is from Graydon157. What are three things you would recommend for a league player to better performance? Well, three things. First and foremost, you need to train hard. You need to be doing your extras at training as well, before and after training. Uh, you need to make sure that you don't have any regrets. So make sure that you give it all that you have. Don't take any shortcuts. And the third one is just to have fun. You have to enjoy what you're doing. You have to love what you do because if you don't love what you do, then you just won't put the hard work and the effort that's required to get you to where you want to be. The next question is from Fletcher Glasby. I have to ask, was the last Tigers game talked about during training? Was it clear that everyone wanted their revenge? Ah, uh, yeah, we briefly spoke about it. Uh, the coach actually put the little score line around the facility up on some posters, so we were very aware of the score. Uh, we spoke about it briefly during the week, but um, yeah, we just obviously wanted to play well and, and scoring that many points on the weekend was unbelievable. Most points in the NRL era, most points in Cowboys history uh, some of our guys played some of the best football I've ever seen them play so it was an unbelievable atmosphere the crowd was a sellout and a massive thanks to everyone who turned up and cheered us on that was for you guys next question is from Thanish Gowda do the home conditions really have an impact on the style of football you guys choose to play yeah definitely I think that up here in North Queensland like especially this time of year it's still quite warm so um, you know and when it's a day game you're still able to play that free-flowing style of football but you know sometimes we play in Sydney when it's like nine degrees so um, it's very different sometimes it's a bit cold it's wet it's slippery uh, in Sydney so depending on the conditions it definitely does change with how much I guess uh, how much you pass the ball around what you do with the kicking game and also you know running obviously if you go near the sideline and it's wet or, or dewy you can be thrown over the sideline so to answer your question definitely does change next question is from blessed Jaravani can you ask the boys what was with the X celebrations? They were really cool. Well, that was a little bit of payback. Uh, one of the Tigers players was doing that to us when they beat us at Leichhardt early in the year. So uh, the boys kept receipts and they decided to give it back. And I loved it as well. I thought it was awesome. And I... I actually love DX. They're an old wrestling crew, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. That's where it originally came from. And I used to love those guys when I was younger. Next question is from Equinox, all-time best 13. And also, who was your mentor or someone you liked, looked up to going through the grades in rugby league? Well, I probably won't be able to do my all-time best 13 here right now because I'd love, I'd love to think about that. But um, someone who was a mentor to me when I was a bit younger in the NRL was uh, Luke Lewis. Uh, I used to love playing with Louis and he was my back rower uh, a while back and he used to he used to cover me, he used to look after me, he used to make all my tackles and um, he just looked after me off the field as well. He had great advice uh, through the good times and the bad times and he's someone who I would call a mentor and I'm, and I'm really thankful for that. Next question is from NRL Legend. Can you please give Give me a shout out, Chad. Well, there you go. Appreciate your support. Here's your shout out. Thanks very much. Next question is from Jared Blake. Nanai, just a generational freak. Is he one of the best players you've played with? 100% hands down, he is. He is an unbelievable talent. And for someone who is still so young and has so much more growth to go in his game, he could be anything and the sky is the limit for this kid he has a very very good knack of being in the right place at the right time he works very hard at his game he loves football and i just absolutely love playing with him when he's focused and switched on he is unbelievable and some of the football he's played in the last year and a half two years in his first two seasons of nrl he's nothing short of phenomenal so like i said the sky is the limit for this kid and man i, I just love playing alongside him next question is from will macker what's the team you love to beat? Uh, Will, I'll have to say probably over the course of my career, maybe Melbourne. I mean, since I started playing, Melbourne have always been at the top or thereabouts. They're a great team. They've got one of the best coaches of all time. They, they rarely beat themselves. They rarely come up with, you know, consistent poor performances. They're very, very tough to beat. And I think, you know, that speaks volumes about the culture that they've got down there. And then they, like I said, their coach who's been there for such a long time. And yeah, beating Melbourne just because you know, they're, they're tough to beat. 
Next question is from Jackson. Hi Chad, I've been a fan of the Cowboys for 12 years. My question is, what is your favorite part of being a Cowboy? Well, Jackson, my favorite part of being a Cowboy is just playing with my mates. I absolutely love the boys, the crew that we have up here. I get along very well with everyone. I feel like this is just my home. And since the day I got here, the boys have made me feel really welcomed and I've really you know, connected with the guys on and off the field. And I absolutely love going to training each and every day. So my favorite part is just, yeah, the day-to-day -day life of the NRL and going to training every day with, with my best mates. Next question is from Styler. Hey Chad, how different is living in Townsville compared to Sydney? Well, it is unbelievably different. I mean, look at this time of the year. Sydney's probably raining and like nine degrees up here. It can be 26 degrees, 27 degrees, even 30 degrees in the middle of winter. I haven't even put a jumper on yet up here. Um, this is like a big country town, so a lot smaller than Sydney, no traffic, uh, much slower pace of life. And my family and I, we're really enjoying it at the moment. So. Uh, yeah, very different, but um, just loving the experience. Okay, next question is from Matt Wood. When are you playing Ron Chopper? Yeah, well, uh, we'd love to play a game against Ron Chopper. His YouTube golf is awesome. He looks like he's a great player. And I think in the off season, uh, we'll probably reach out to him and see what he's, what he's up to and see if we can get a game in. But yeah, I, lo I love watching him on YouTube and um, yeah, let's tr we'll try and tee something up. So, Ron, if you if you see this, let's link up, get a game on. Next question is from Eric. Who is the best and worst golfer on the team? Well, best golfer on the team with the lowest handicap is Kyle Felt. So Kyle Felt's off six. Cohen Hess is off ten. I'm off eleven. Tommy Deaton's off twelve. Uh, Jack Ashevsky's off. Sorry, Val's off 13, Jack Shashevsky's off 14, and Drinky's off 16. And then the worst golfer, Griffin Neem, he's off 18. So to answer your question, Griffin Neem is the worst golfer in our team. He won't like me saying that. <laughs> Next question is from Kaffers. What was the different, what was different this time compared to the last time you versed the Tigers since it was a very drastic change in score? Yeah, look, it's something I've been asked by a couple people since the game on the weekend and I feel like it's just it's rugby league like if you're off by the smallest of margins that's all it takes and you know playing in a bit of a hostile environment uh, where you're not potentially fully focused on what you need to do and that night at Leichhardt like we started very poorly and then things just snowballed from that so once another team has a lot of momentum in the NRL, it's very hard to wrestle it back. And you saw on the weekend, like the amount of momentum we had and the Tigers were just, they just couldn't get it back. And it was the same with us back when uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, that's the hardest thing in the NRL to when you don't have the momentum to try and wrestle it back. And that's probably the reason why. Next question is from Evolve AU. How do you deal with all the stress and mental stuff when playing even after a loss? What can you do to help yourself? This is a great question because in the NRL, like you, you win when you're and you're like up here, you're very happy, or you lose and like you're you're down here. So from here to here, it's it's up one week, it might be down the next week. So I've always had a I've always had a saying that I try and keep it in the middle. So if, if we win, I don't try and get too far ahead of myself. And if we lose, I don't try and put too much pressure on myself and be too down. But it's easier said than done because we're in the business of winning football games. So at the end of the day, I can only control what I can control. And that's how I train, how I play, and how I prepare for games. So I can't control what people say about me in the media, what people say about me on social media, but how I can, but what I can control is who I am as a person, how I train, how I play, how I lead, and how I do those sorts of things. So they're the type of things that I try and focus on. And then obviously with my family, I mean, I try and leave my football uh, emotions at the door when I get home, because at the end of the day, uh, I'm still dad, and that's you know, one of the best roles I've got in my whole entire life. So I love being a dad, love walking in the door. And whether I win or lose, I play good or bad, my kids will still love me. And that's the, that's the most important thing. Good question though. Next question is from Dan, Man and the League. And I apologize if I'm getting some of these names wrong because I'm just sort of reading them for the first nine. But what Dan's question is, what was it your guys' intention to keep the guys 
Was it your guys' intention to keep the Tigers scoreless? 100% definitely. We were had a goal where we didn't want them to score any points. And obviously, with the competition being so close this year, for and against could potentially play a huge factor. So, um, yeah, once we sort of were able to come into half time at 40 nil, we spoke about just keeping them to zero because we didn't really need to score any more points. But obviously, you know, we went on and, and were able to score a lot more. But that was our goal, zero. And that was, I think, the most pleasing thing for the coaching staff. Next question is from the unknown monkey, the unknown keyboarder. What type of username is that? Uh, great game last night, Chatty. My question is how many more years do we, do we get to see you on the field? Uh, well, so at the moment, my contract, I've got a contract for next season up here in the Cowboys. And then what happens after that? I'm actually not too sure. I've, I've been slowly getting asked this question and I've just sort of been answering it the same way because I actually don't know what's going to happen beyond next year. And, you know, maybe this time in 12 months, I'll be able to make a decision on what I want to do. But at the moment, I'm just going to keep all my options open. I still feel great. I physically feel great. Mentally, I feel great. I still have that will to compete. My body feels good. I've still been able to train and play. And since I've been up here at the Cowboys, I've played touch wood every single game I've been able to. And that's a, that means a lot to me because the best ability to me is availability. And that's something I've tried to be really good at my whole career is to be available for selection. And that's what I'll continue to work on. So to answer your question, I'm just gonna leave my options open. Um, but yeah, we'll see because um, it'll be a big decision. Next question is from Queen Elizabeth Edits. Rest in peace, Queen. How long does each training session last? Well, our gym sessions can range from about 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on what time of the year it is. If it's pre-season, they're about an hour and a half. If it's in-season, they're about 45 minutes to an hour. They're a little bit shorter because um, of games and recovery, etc. And then field sessions are kind of similar with regards to the length. Um, Pre-season's a little bit longer because we're there's no game, so we're out in the field for like anywhere two, two and a half hours. And then in season, I mean, it, it changes. Sometimes we're on the field for half an hour, sometimes we're on the field for an hour and a half. So it just depends on what our week looks like, when we're playing, when we played previously. And people who are much smarter than me make those decisions with a high performance. I just do what I'm told. Next question is from Kingston Strickland. How does it feel to win four straight against three top tier teams? Kingston, it feels great to answer your question. Um, it got to that time where we needed to kind of make a move and our coaching staff really challenged us and our team has really responded well, which is something that I'm really, really happy with. We've still got a long way to go before we, you know, I guess have anything to celebrate. But at the moment, I see our team really focused and I mean, it's unfortunate for myself being a Sydney cider someone from Sydney and a New South Wales fan, but I think the origin win for the Queensland has really helped us as Cowboys. And it's kind of a unique position for me because I'm from Sydney and I follow the Blues, but you know, when I see the boys play well and come back with so much confidence and swagger, like it's great for our football team. So it's different. Next question is from Ben Latu. I have a young family just like you. My question is, how do you balance work life, family, time, self care? Ben, this is a great question and something my wife and I are always, always striving to do. And I think the biggest thing you need to do is be organized, structured, and routine. So our kids are very routine with regards to sleeping, uh, eating, and bedtime routine. And then during our week, my wife and I will plan out our, I guess, leisure time. So, you know, I think everyone knows that I love to play golf. So I try and get a game of golf in once per week. And my wife's kind of leisure time is, is her training. So she loves going to the gym and she loves running. So I'll sort of lock in a time where I can play golf and then she'll be able to lock in some times where she can play, she can go to the gym and go for a run. So there'll be times where I walk in the door to look after the kids and she'll be straight out. And like I said, it's a balance, but having that balance is so important. I feel like you can't just be locked into work, 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 or whatever it is. Like you need to have a balance because you need to be socializing with your friends. You need to be uh, you know, doing some hobbies. You need to be hanging with your family. You need to be putting time and energy into the right areas. And, and when you get that balance, it's, it's so good. So I um, mate, that's a great question and, and something that, um, like I said, continually striving and, and actually loving the process of, of trying to get that right. Next question is from Joshua Murray. Real question, do you miss living in the greatest state of all, New South Wales? Well, um, 
Not this time of year, I don't. I mean, every now and then, you kind of, that's where all my friends and family are, but at the moment, like, I, I, I'm really happy here in North Queensland. I love living in Townsville. Um, I love playing for the Cowboys, and my family and I, I'd say, will eventually move back to Sydney at some stage, but at the moment, like, we're in no rush. We, we're happy up here in North Queensland. No, I'm, I'm happy to be in, 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 uh, in Queensland. <laughs> Next question is from Jackson. What does your future look like with the Cowboys? Are you looking to re-sign after next year? What tips do you have for me as a young halfback? Well, Jackson, I just answered that question previously, uh, so I won't go into that question again, but I will answer the last question, which is what tips do you have for me as a young halfback? And that would be to work extremely hard at your game. So I said before about going to training, and practicing before training and after training, are uh, you kicking? Uh, you might see me walk around the sheds. I love to just kick a ball to myself practicing my drop, um, your repetitions, whether it's your passing, your kicking, uh, your fend, your footwork, whatever it is that you're good at, like continue to practice that and also practice your weaknesses as well. But I think it's just, it's time, it's repetition and it's, it's the work. And like I said earlier, if you love what you do, then you're more inclined to just stick at it. So you have to love it, but just get to the oval with a footy because that's all I used to do when I was a kid. I used to live down the road from the Oval and I just lived every afternoon at the footy Oval and I would just play footy with my friends, practice with my friends and until the sun went down and then the lights would come on and we'd just keep going. Next question is from Queensland, Will Sweep. Who can hit the longest drive at the Cowboys? What players merch do you recommend? Well, firstly guys, check the link in the description below, playersgolfclub.com.au for all your golf merch. Polos, hats, tees, membership, accessories, it's all there and we really appreciate your support. The longest drive in the club would definitely be Cohen Hess and he hits the ball a long way. Even Jack Koshevsky as well. Cohen Hess is a bit like Bryson DeChambeau, can absolutely sling it. Short game needs a bit of work, same as Jack. Both can just sling it so far down the fairway. Short game though needs a little bit of work. I'm like a bit of the opposite. Can't hit it as far as them, but I do have probably a better short game than them. Next question is from Trigger26. What's the atmosphere of football in Queensland compared to New South Wales? Good question. Uh, I feel like the atmosphere in Queensland is, is great. And I mean, I love playing obviously at home, Queensland Country Bank Stadium, but I also love playing at Suncorp Stadium. And we've had some big games there so far in my, since I've been at the Cowboys. And I don't know, I just think like Queensland is have an appreciation for football that maybe I haven't seen before. And, and there's like a lot of people from the country who love football up here in North Queensland and obviously all of Queensland. And yeah, that, that's, that's something that I haven't really seen before, you know, being from the city or the Sydney, uh, on the outskirts of the city. So yeah, the atmosphere is definitely different. different. I mean, it, both, both crowds are very loud, but um, yeah, just like a, a subtle difference in, I guess, the, the football markets because in, in Queensland, it's, you know, very just rugby league, rugby league, where in Sydney, like it still is rugby league, but there's like a lot of other markets with like, you know, AFL, um, NBL, um, A-League, like all those other markets are in Sydney and it's kind of very saturated. So hope I answered your question. <clears throat> Next question is from Big Raho. How good has Drinky been these last few weeks? Even his golfing has improved in your guys' last vlog. Drinky's been on fire. This is probably the best I've seen him play in his whole career. And just today, actually, as we're filming this, guys, he got announced as 18th man in the Origin squad. He text our little players group chat today and told us, and I was unbelievably stoked for him. He deserves it. He's been on fire the way he He's been running the ball, passing, kicking. He's been, yeah, on, on fire. He's been, in my opinion, the form competition of the or form fullback of the competition. And his kit bag isn't just limited to one or two things. He's got everything in his arsenal. And there's some other players in the competition who are great players, but they probably don't have the arsenal that he does. There's very few that can do that. So, mate, very, very happy for him. Next question is from Lewis Six Time. Do you think Cowboys fans are different to other teams' fans? Do you ever feel pressure due to how much the footy means to our community? Yeah, look, I, I definitely think Cowboys fans are very different to other fans in the fact that, like, I think a lot of our fans travel like three and four hours to come to our game. And obviously, because North Queensland covers such a broad area, we're not just like the Townsville Cowboys, we're North Queensland. So, like, 
you know, up to Cairns, um, Mackay, uh, Rockhampton, I think down to Bundaberg, that's where it goes. So, you know, our region is, is quite large and people come from a long way to come and watch us. And like I said before, like a lot of these guys are, you know, from the country, they're, they're hardworking, blue collar families who just love rugby league. And that's an appreciation that I haven't seen before being from Sydney. And, and I really actually do enjoy playing in front of those guys when they come and drive so far and um, the smiles on their faces when they see the boys and, and when we're able to get a, a good performance at home, it, it does mean a lot. So, yeah. Next question is from Shane Bell. Do you have any pregame rituals? No, I don't actually. I, I'm not superstitious at all and I don't really have any pregame rituals to be honest. I don't eat the same thing. I just like to make sure I eat lots of carbs the day before and the day of. I like to you know make sure I've been fueled up no real rituals, no. Next question is from 644 Jake. What are the best and worst parts about changing clubs? I've never been asked this question before. The best parts about changing club is obviously you get to move on to a, a new opportunity and obviously you know, you're moving clubs for a reason, uh, whether it be uh, for more opportunity, for a longer term deal. You know, changing clubs is exciting, but it's also pretty daunting as well because you know, when you're at a club, you become really good friends with your whole team, your playing squad, and then you know, if you change clubs, you're kind of not as close of friends anymore. I remember a couple of years ago, Josh Morris, um, he was playing at the Sharks and we, we used to hang out all the time. And then he went to the Roosters and then we just never used to hang out that much because he was at the Roosters. So we'd still like to say hello and speak and hang out, but just, just not as much is what I'm saying. So that would probably be the worst thing as well. Yeah, you just, you know, it, it's... Like I said, you, you get so tight with the playing group and then, you know, you move to another team. But that's all part of the NRL. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's vlog, the Q&A vlog. I really appreciate everyone who sent in a question for today's vlog. If you haven't already, please make sure you do subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate all of your support here on YouTube. The vlogs are coming thick and fast. And make sure you subscribe. Check out the links below, chadtownsend.com.au playersgolfclub.com.au. You can get some merch down there and we appreciate your support and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Let's go. Whew.